This is a Suzuki J20A four cylinder, two litre motor. Um, had a noisy time and chain in it. Um, there's three chains in this motor. When we pulled apart, this plastic guide here was broken, right for the center here. Wasn't really causing any issues, just would have been wrapping around. Um, this is a brand new chain. There's two tensioners, one tensioner here, one tensioner here. This tensioner has a ratchet set up, so once it goes out, it can't come backwards. This tensioner has an oil reservoir, it looks like, so once the oil goes in, you can't pressurize fluid and the chain will go tight. The reason that's like that now is because when you turn it a certain way, the cam loads up um, on the lobes and then it will flick and go loose here, tight there, loose here. Once the oil pressure comes in, that should fill up and be good. Now, I bought a kit, the time and chain, water pump, which goes on that there comes over which you've got to pull all that apart to get the motor out because the air conditioner bolts on pain in the butt but it also came with an oil pump and i could not find any images about the oil pump or how it's connected now timing covers off then the oil pan comes off if you're an australian sump that's the oil pump there so i don't have a chain for it um but being being that there's a new sprocket it should fill in a little bit of that slack don't know how easy it is to get out at the moment. Should be able to just undo it, come off. But anybody who's interested to see how it went in, then there's an oil pickup that comes out here across there and bolts, hangs down. That's that's the oil pickup there. But yeah, hopefully this will help someone with their issues. Um, the other thing too, timing marks are a bit weird. Um, that's lined up the top dead center there. The other timing marks is that mark there lines up with that lip and then there's another one you can't see it very well another mark there lines up with that roll pin then when you put the chains on there's a link that lines up with the dots um, and that's how that top chain is but this one here I can't see the time marks on this at the moment but the original one has an arrow pointing upwards that has to be down the bottom pointing straight up and there's a little dot so about 1.30 o'clock on the clock here this didn't have an arrow pointing up, so I had to get the previous cam, um, time and chain sprocket, look at it and nut it out. I've rotated it a few times just to make sure the timing mark was correct. Every time it goes top dead center again, the, the marks line up again, so that should be good. No valves are hitting pistons, the other sign you want to find. If, it, if it's not moving, you've got the time and chain wrong. But anyway, this will make the car go better. Um, we replaced the clutch on it too, so it's got a brand new clutch. Um, and yet we found the clutch fork, which goes onto a bearing here back to the motor is completely shot apparently these things have an issue um, on the mount down there this clutch is a very heavy clutch to push in and out like a heavy duty it wasn't heavy duty at all it just needed lubricant it's um, where that ball goes into the fork it's cracked so we had to buy a new one but yeah things to look out for when you buy it been a great little car just hadn't been serviced properly by the previous owner all right thanks for watching